Are NFTs the next big fad or are these things here to stay? I'm Ty Lopez. I want to talk about my NFT project called OG, Original Garage Social Club. I'm in London at my office and uh, my team was like, you need to record a video because NFTs and crypto is like the most controversial thing. Some people say it's a Ponzi scheme. Some people say this is the next best thing you can put your money in. All I want to say is there's one use of NFTs that's so credible that's so valuable that it's insane that the mass media hasn't cut on, caught on to them. And that's as a pass to get access to something. For the last, I don't know, seven, eight years, people have said, Ty, can I have dinner with you? Ty, can I be on your podcast? Can I fly on a jet when you, with you? Will you look at my business and evaluate it? Can I shadow you? Will you mentor me? All this stuff, people basically want access. They want a pass, they want a key into my life. And in the past, it's been kind of like, uh, I mean, I, I've gotten a hundred times people have said, Ty, I'll pay you 10 grand to have lunch with you or 30 grand to have lunch with you. I've said no every time. I'm not sure why I always say no. Maybe it's just, it feels weird, but NFTs have changed the game because think about this. If I issue an NFT, come have dinner, we'll talk about your business with me. I charge you money. Now it's a, something that can trade when you're done with it you can resell it to somebody else. In fact, I'm gonna make a prediction because I've talked a lot about the education system and how I think it's a scam. One day going to college, you'll buy an NFT. It'll represent the tuition and the four-year college degree. At the end, you'll sell it, meaning it won't cost you $200,000 or $80,000. My brother went to UNC Chapel Hill, got 80,000 in debt, got a Spanish degree. Hardly even learned Spanish either. At the end, all he's left with was debt and he could say like seven Spanish words. Well. Imagine if he bought an NFT and at the end of that NFT, instead of being 80 grand in debt, he paid 80 grand for the NFT. He went to four years and he resold it to someone else for 60 grand or maybe it went up in value, 100 grand. The college gets paid by the secondary royalties and my brother, boom, no longer a slave to college debt. So it's access pass. So with my OG project, by the way, pay attention because this thing's dropping real soon, okay? You got in my Discord or getting in my stuff because you want to know launch date. I got all the details about when I'm dropping, but um, I'm kind of recording this now just to answer all the questions that I've been getting going live. So you might wonder, for example, I'm giving away a board ape. I bought a board ape. It was about two hundred thirty thousand dollars. It's actually gone up in value. One person who's in the Discord on the whitelist is going to win that board ape. I did that to go viral with my NFT project because I think NFTs are more valuable than anybody realizes. I brought up this thing about college, but what about a hotel? What about a golf course? What about a concert to music? What about my masterminds? What about a seminar? This is where a non-fungible token, if you don't know what an NFT is, it's different than Bitcoin. Bitcoin's fungible. A dollar bill's fungible. There are a lot of them, they're generic. NFTs represent uniqueness, right? And unique access. So in my NFT project, I got three levels, silver card, gold card, and the rare, ultra rare black cards. And each of them give you access to different things. And they're gonna launch at different prices. They're all good. They're all gonna give you access to my online training. Remember, people have paid over $100 million over the last 10 years to go through my business training, online education. Like I said, I'm pivoting it from people just being able to pay with a credit card to now you could own the NFT that gives you access to my training. And then when you're done and you've learned everything, you can sell it on OpenSea to somebody else. That's what I was talking about, the future of education, how NFTs are disrupting education. I'm also launching a social club. I have my masterminds, which are basically like small groups of people, like 50 people come together. We all brainstorm for a day. I help, I consult, I bring in my millionaire mentors. I brought in billionaire mentors before, come in and help people become entrepreneurs and grow their business. Once again, instead of just charging people money, I can now be like, do you have the NFT? There's a technology when you come to my house or when you come to the door, they scan. Do you have it in your wallet? Boop, if you have it, you have entry. That's cool, so you basically, Instead of you just paying, and when you're done not being able to resell, now you have a way to resell all the value that you got from my mastermind or all the value you got from one of my courses to somebody else who needs it. This is the future, ladies and gentlemen. And, and people ask me, oh, well, what about regulations and governments? Governments always have a hard time stopping good ideas. In the end, good ideas win. And this is a good idea. 
It's a digital pass that can be given to somebody else or traded to somebody else when you no longer need it. The silver and the gold get you access to the education. Now there's one big thing I mentioned it earlier, hotel. So right now I'm looking at three different hotels in South Beach, Miami. I was just in Copenhagen, Denmark, looking at hotels to buy, looking here in London. I'm making the first members only NFT hotel. So same thing. You may have heard of groups like Soho House. These are companies, they buy real estate or lease real estate. They have one here in London, they have them in Hollywood, they have them in New York. And you go and it's like members only. You have to have this little pass. This is before NFTs even exist and you get in. They also have a hotel, same thing, only for members. Now, why would you wanna be in a members only hotel? Well, like-minded people. I'd rather go to a hotel where there's a whole bunch of people that I can network with, whatever my interests are. If I'm an entrepreneur, go to a place where there's a whole bunch of entrepreneurs, where there's investors, where there's venture capitalists, where there's bankers, you know, where there's marketers, where there's software and tech people. One of the reasons I launched this OG Original Garage um, Social Club is because I really believe, and there's a lot of science to this, it's not what you know, it's who you know. A lot of people think, oh, I'm gonna make money and I'm gonna get rich and all this stuff. And their plan is just to have a good idea and launch it and boom, they're the next Bill Gates, they're the next Elon Musk. And I'm like, that's not really how it works. If you look at the life story, look at Elon Musk. He's part of this thing when he was young, when he did PayPal, they call it now the PayPal Mafia. It was like 12 people. All 12 of those guys are basically billionaires now. It's not just Elon Musk. It's Peter Thiel, it's Ken Howry. I know some of these people personally. And the fact that they were this group of young entrepreneurs that all had brilliant ideas and they all met together often and they all you know, challenged each other and they all brainstormed together. And that's why the PayPal Mafia in great part produced people like Elon Musk and Peter Thiel because it was a social club. Now, the reason I call it OG Original Garage, by the way, is people remember my Hear My Garage video. It was like super viral. 300 million people saw that video. But more importantly, like, a ton of good businesses basically start out of a social club in a garage. Apple, Steve Jobs, Wozniak, bunch of beginning entrepreneurs working out of their garage built Apple. Disney, Walt Disney built it out of garage. The Google guys. I mean, there's literally a long list if you Google companies that came out of a garage. So the idea here is kind of a play on words from my, from my Here in My Garage video. But more importantly, it's access to the group of people that changed my life. In my Here in My Garage video, I talked about what changed my life was finding five millionaire mentors. So this OG social club, this NFT collection is gonna give you different level of access to my social circle, to my mentors, to the people that I look up to, the people that I listen to. It's gonna get you access to me if you get in certain levels. I'll put a link below of where you can go and see all the specific stuff, like I said. One of the black cards, like, get you access to go to a nightclub with me. A lot of people see, like, oh, Ty likes to play basketball. We can play horse together. I, I played horse with, like, Chris Paul a couple of times. It was cool. I learned, got to talk to him, have dinner with me. One of the black cards gets you a dinner with me. One of them gets you, I'm doing, I'm going to do one just for fun. It's like, go on a 30-minute drive. We talk in a Lambo. And I've got some other ones that are interesting where it's basically you get, I'm going to come in and evaluate your business, okay? So one of the black ultra rare, there's not gonna be a lot of these. I'll come in and basically build your marketing plan for you. Like you can't hire me to do that. Like people have tried to hire me to do that and I'm like, nah. But for that one NFT holder, the way the NFTs will work, it'll be, you know, get whoever holds it on the day, there'll be like a day, the holder on this day gets access to me doing that thing or access to me. But I wanna be clear, it's not just access to shadowing me and me mentoring you and me helping your business but it's also me opening up my social circle, my masterminds. The gold cards get you access to my masterminds. And these are crazy, like, it's insane. I started my first mastermind really in 2012 before I did my TEDx talk. And I remember that original group of people was at my house in Hollywood Hills. Those people have gone on. It's not quite maybe the PayPal mafia. They're not all billionaires, but like crazy success came out of this little group that was my mastermind. Like I used to do at one point, when I had more free time, now I'm the CEO of a company that has hundreds of employees. But I used to, every Sunday, I used to have a meeting at my house and it was just open, it was this mastermind, it was crazy. I'm still friends, allies with these people. If you wanna make money, you need allies. It's another way to think about it. All great generals, they won because they had allies. And a lot of, maybe you're trying to go on this thing, you're alone. My NFTs digitize access to allies. Other entrepreneurs, 
mentors, people you're never gonna meet. Some of these people took me, I'm not gonna say a lifetime, but it, really a lifetime to become friends with. By the way, one of you can play chess with me. And let me talk about the hotel for a second because this is a big one. Now, there's been a lot of NFT projects that promise a lot of stuff. One thing I'll say to that, I know how to buy assets. I basically did my first M&A deal in 2003. Nightlife, nightclubs, restaurants in Raleigh, North Carolina. I bought my first tech company, I think it was 2012, right at the end of 2012, early 2013. And now since then, if you've been watching retail e-commerce ventures, like I bought Pier One, I bought Radio Shack, I bought over $100 million in brands and assets, own over a thousand acres of land. So when I say I'm my NFT on the roadmap is going to buy a hotel, I know how to do it. It's not the biggest thing I've ever bought by a $15 million, $20 million hotel. That's not the biggest asset that I've ever bought. Like Pure One, I paid $31 million for and bought other stuff that's even higher priced than that. So this hotel, the way it works, simple. If you own the NFT and you can see what levels like one of the NFTs gets you access to the regular rooms. The higher level NFT gets you access to the suites. It's members only. So only people with NFTs actually get access to the hotel. That's a key thing. That's number one. So that creates the network. That creates the like-minded group that you want to be at. Number two, in terms of people have asked, oh, well, then the hotel rooms are free, right? And I'm like, well, I can't, you can't do the hotel rooms for free because then one person will just get a hotel room and stay there nonstop. So the way that goes is very similar to how Soho House is doing their hotel or other members only. It's restricted, it's a gated community only for people who are in the OG or, or own the OG NFT. And then the reason you go there is for the group of people. That's what it really comes down to. And you get different levels of access. Like I said, you can go to the regular rooms, you can go to the VIP. If you can't ever go to the hotel, this is something that a lot of people don't understand. You can use your NFT without selling it. You could lend it to someone else to stay there for three days. So there's value in the NFT even if you can't fly to the hotel. Even if you can't go to Miami, all of a sudden you take that NFT and it still has value for you. So that's huge. Other people are gonna to wanna to stay there. Maybe you stay at the hotel and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna be going there for a year. Sell it to someone else. Tradable access is literally the most mind blowing thing. In fact, you watch over the next five years as the world catches up to what tradable access means, meaning I got access to something and when I'm done with it, I trade it to someone else. You see that a little bit. They tried to do this like StubHub did this with tickets. Maybe you have season tickets to go to Los Angeles Lakers. Then when you don't want it, you're not using it, you sell it to somebody else. That is kind of like the primitive usage of NFTs. Now it's totally different game. NFTs have basically digitized that, tokenized that, and made it have a lot more potential for upside for you. We're gonna look back, your grandkids will look back and be like, oh, StubHub, that was a prehistoric way. Like you used to do it that way? Like what? I thought, why didn't you do an NFT? Anyway, always be ahead of the curve, ladies and gentlemen. Also, just a couple other of these black, ultra rare, like people are like, Ty, can I have your phone number? I'm like, no. People try to get my phone, I'm like, no. But one of the black cards will give you access to my phone number. There's gonna be something for, you know, people ask on the pricing. I did three levels. I don't just want people who have a lot of ETH to be able to buy the highest level. Like I want multiple people to have it, some level of access. So I'm gonna put a link with more explanation, silver, gold, black, pick the one that makes sense for you. Um, we're gonna do a really small drop coming up, okay? So this really small drop, uh, put the date in the exact time, make sure we'll try to adjust it for your time zone. Uh, do not miss that one, cause we're probably gonna only do the mint for like five minutes. But if you're interested, you want access to what I'm doing, you see the vision for real estate and hotels, you see the vision for social clubs, you see the vision for online education, like my OG NFT, Social Club encompasses all of those. There hasn't been one done like this. And on top of that, all NFT holders are gonna get access to an annual conference that I'm doing. And I'm bringing in really the best mentors that I know. That's been my big thing. You know, I've been talking about mentors and um, you know, some people are like, oh, you don't need mentors. Really? Anybody who tells you don't need mentors, I guarantee you they had mentors in their life. Maybe they had rich parents. Rich parents often serve as mentors, but if you didn't have rich parents, you got to go out and find mentors on your own. So I'm going to have my OG, the annual mentor conference, a game changer. In fact, I can look back. I actually got the idea to do my hair in my garage YouTube videos that like really just like blanketed all the planet Earth. I got that idea from like a conference mastermind. 
somebody sitting next to me was like, Ty, I think you'd be good on YouTube. And that was in 2014. So this conference is basically how mentors can help you catch the next big trend early. So everybody who has an NFT is gonna get access to that. I'm doing special digital events. So if you live anywhere in the world, you're gonna get access. Those of you who really wanna have close access to me, I'm gonna actually do one where I'm gonna let one person get access to the whole process of me buying a company or buying real estate. You can choose. That's worth, you know, I'm a college dropout. Like this is what people go to Harvard MBA for. <laughs> go to Harvard MBA to learn how to buy a company. I bought eight of them in the last two years. Big ones, not little dinky companies. Pier One, when I bought it, was doing 1.7 billion in annual revenue. So over 100 million a month. I'm gonna peel back the curtain. NFTs are cool. I can't do that for everybody, but I can have this one black card that's ultra rare, that's access to that, and then you can do it once and then you can pass it on to somebody else. So I'm gonna do some really rare stuff. So go check out whether you can get in the black. If you can't get in the black, get in the gold. If you can't get in the gold, get in the silver. And remember, you can always trade up later. These will be available on the secondary market, but you snooze you lose, ladies and gentlemen. You snooze you lose. This is an NFT that actual has utility. When things don't have utility, guess what happened in the secondary market? They get posted to OpenSea and zzz, people figure out, wait a second, what did I buy? I bought a profile picture only. Uh, if this thing ain't hot, it's... <laughs> There's some big cryptos I told everybody was gonna go to zero. And boy, was I right. There's a lot of NFT projects that are going to zero. There are some good ones too. I'm not saying mine's the only good one. I'm saying mine has real tangible utility behind it. Real access to something that's valuable, not just meeting me, but maybe learning from what I'm doing. You know, it'll take me a long time to learn this stuff. I have millionaire mentors. I also have, you know, I, I met one of my Nobel Prize winner mentors. I have a mentor who's won a Nobel Prize at Harvard. One of them won here at London School of Economics. So academic mentors, people in the trench mentors. I learned to buy businesses from a billionaire out of Texas. I actually have a video on my YouTube, but I haven't, I didn't share in that video every single thing. It doesn't make sense. I'm gonna share everything that I know. It would be kind of weird to be like, oh, here's my businesses and here's all my secrets. But I can, try, I can have an NFT that gives one person access to that or a group of people. I'm gonna, the gold cards get you access to the mastermind. If you can't, uh, can't get in the ultra rare black cards, like gold is a game changer. And again, for those of you who can only get into silver, don't think you haven't got much value. You think about what people spend money on, it's just insane. Don't spend money on things that rust, rot, and depreciate. People sometimes are like, Ty, why'd you lease Lamborghinis? I'm like, because they rust, rot, and depreciate. The reason I buy land is like Mark Twain said, they ain't making more of it. I bought a, almost, over a thousand acres of like prime farmland. As the world gets more people, if everybody can't go to space in Elon Musk's, you know, SpaceX or Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, you're gonna need land for food. So I like to buy things that are the opposite of depreciating, things that get more valuable over time. These NFTs have real valuable utility behind them. I'll put some FAQ stuff up and, um, Main thing is watch the Discord very closely because these mints are gonna happen super fast. Basically it'll be like, doop, and then it'll be like, doop. Oh, we're gonna sell smaller number of them than some other, but there's been projects like Adidas or one of these where they just like mint, you know, 50,000 plus. Keep your social circle tight, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of sharks, quicksand, and snakes in this world, so I don't want 50,000 people coming to my house. Keep this social circle small. You should do the same. Good luck, I'll put a link. Click this now and go see, go read what I put here because some of the stuff I couldn't get in the video and it has the specific times, dates. Bookmark these dates, put it on your calendar, write it on your hand, get a tattoo so you know the mint date time. Talk to you soon.